Within my lifetime, there's going to be hundreds of millions of climate refugees because coastal cities go underwater. The crisis that the world faces right now terrifies me. This affects communities of color, indigenous peoples, and people of the global south disproportionately worse than it does us. That it's happening right now in this generation, absolutely record-setting heat waves, drought, fires, storms. The problem is that fossil fuel companies have a huge economic incentive to increase sales of their products. That simply can't go on. Those companies have gone over the line. In certain ways, I'm more excited than I've ever been because I think, finally, we know what we need to do. We are going after the fossil fuel industry. Right now, colleges are invested in many industries, including the fossil fuel industry. We're funding the destruction of our futures. We want to pull out our finances. In coal, oil, natural gas. The reporter from the Harvard Crimson called me and asked me how I felt when the university announced that it was not considering divestment. And my response was that President Faust has to change her mind, because we won't. We pull up just before two. Two cars in the front, one car in the back. At 2 p.m. on the dot, the first three walk through the front door, walk up the stairs to the third floor. If TransCanada is going to have a piece of its operations that threatens the future of our society, then we're going to take on the entire corporation until they stop. While they were fighting for equality, we are fighting for existence. If you don't fight, for what you want, you deserve what you get. The most fateful battle in human history is finally joined and we will fight it together. Yeah! Nobody's saying it's immoral to invest in a clean coal company. I'm gonna be dead soon, what the hell do I care? <laughs> We're leaving these kids a hell of a world. What alarms me most about climate change now is, is the general apathy. I feel like that period is ending and that a new period of student action and activism is coming. We play offense, we play defense, we play in every region of the country, in every country of the world. This fossil fuel resistance is a real thing and it's growing fast.